Hi, and welcome to iPad PD with Perone. Today we're going to talk about using the Telegami app, which is a free app, in order to learn how to read with fluency and expression. The kids really like it, it gives them a lot of good feedback, and I think you're going to like using it too. Let's get started. When you open the Telegami app, you'll see a Create button, and you just press on that. It will take you through a step-by-step -step process, but just in case you'd rather do it this way, we'll go through those steps right now. To get started, you just click on the Character button. That will open up a window where you're going to be able to see a variety of attributes that you can choose from. Those attributes include gender, skin tone, eye color, the actual size of your head. You can see that I'm changing my hairstyle now. You can also change your hair color, the clothing that you're wearing, including your tops, bottoms, and shoes. Once you have a gami that you're happy with, you can save it. When you're satisfied with your GAMI, just hit the back button and now you're ready to get started using the GAMI for reading fluency practice. The GAMI app comes with a variety of backgrounds that you can choose from, or you can select your own from your camera roll. You can see that I selected a fluency picture from my camera roll to, to reflect the fact that that's the focus of my GAMI talk today. When your students are using Telegami in order to demonstrate reading fluency, they could select a picture of the book for their background. The Telegami has been made, the background has been selected, the student has practiced reading and is ready to record. So press the record button. This is the window that will pop up next and they once again hit the green record button. It's important to remember that each GAMI only has 30 seconds to say what they have to say. So if it's a long book, they'll have to make multiple GAMIs. If a student has used a variety of GAMIs to demonstrate their fluent reading of a text, they can use iMovie in order to put all the GAMIs together to demonstrate their fluent reading of an entire text. What a great project. Be sure to click on the share button and then have the students click on the save button. Otherwise, all their good work will be lost. You may have noticed that all of the telegamis are adults. In order to get around that, students can be encouraged to drag their finger next to their telegami, which will change the angle. If the body is sort of underneath the head, you can't really see that it is an adult. And it works just fine. Here's an example of one of my first grade students using telegami to practice fluent reading. After reading the first time, he tried again because he wanted to make sure his telegami sounded like he was talking. A dog and a cat got into a spat. Now what do you think the cat thought of that? When the student was satisfied with his reading, he simply pressed the stop button and then the share button in order to make sure that his reading was saved. After the student clicks on the Save button, this is the screen they'll see. Be sure to save the student's reading fluency work to your camera roll. If you have a YouTube channel, you could then upload the videos, and that would be a nice easy way for the student to share their good work with their parents at home. Thanks for stopping by iPad PD with Perone. I hope you get a chance to try the Telegami app with your students as they practice their reading fluency. You'll find it really is an engaging, fun, and motivating way for them to practice that important skill. Bye, and have fun.